much for coming back to the channel. Today, I want to share with you our coffee and hot cocoa bar for 2021. I think I did this for several years now, and I always like to do it for the different seasons. I haven't did too much this year, this year, but for Christmas, I really like to do it. So let me share with you how I decorated it this year and all of the details. I didn't have to buy, I didn't buy really anything, but I think two things y'all off of this um, bar for this year to incorporate it. And this is probably the only red spot, believe it or not, <laughs> downstairs because I had so much red decor and I haven't pulled out the stuff from the attic, but from what I'm just trying to do a different theme this year. So this is probably the most, um, this is the most whimsical or red spot downstairs. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so first I put a runner and actually the runner, I may have did this years before. I flip over my runner sometimes depending on what theme or style I'm going for. Actually, this would have worked with the gingerbread theme, but I got this years ago. I don't even remember where, but anyway, I just flipped it over and depending on how much you use your coffee bar, I think last year I used a tray. So if um, anyone had any water or any liquid or crumbs or something like that, it'll catch on the tray. But really, um, I'm not really worried about it. If it gets messed up, I can take it off and I can wash it or I can put a little tray um, there. I can find one somewhere. So I have the coffee maker and I just got this when we needed a new one and I probably should have got black out. The gray is pretty, but I probably should have got the black, but I like it. It makes coffee super duper fast. And I did a video. I'll put it above of the unboxing of this. And then I just have a Dollar Tree mug that I had forever. And I just really have it here for decoration because I'm using different mugs right now. <laughs> and then I have this, I think this is like a spoon rest from the Bullseye Playground. I have not been, y'all, to the Bullseye Playground and really picked up their goodies probably in the last two years. I'll just go when I go in Target and I'll just see what they have. And usually it's picked over. But Bullseye Playground is a great place in Dollar Tree and Dollar General to get those affordable little unique things that you don't see at the other stores. Even, you know, Marshalls and Home Goods, they have unique things because sometimes once it's, once it's gone, it's gone. Okay, y'all. So I have like this little sleigh and this came from the Target's Bullseye Playground one year. And I have a green one, the little... I don't know. The little rails here are green on the other one. And then I have these little mugs that I got from Hobby Lobby. And they actually have writing on one side, but I turned them, turned them around. Okay, so I have these little peppermint spoons. And these came from the Dollar Tree. And I just put these in here and the hot cocoa bomb. I only bought one. And sure enough, Jason doesn't like chocolate. So I saw I kind of questioned, you know, iffy. And JJ didn't want one. So I only got one just for myself. And then we have these little wafers. Uh, we never, we didn't use them last year, but they still should be good. And then, um, just because we forgot. So I put them out here so we can remember. And then I have these little small, these are actually ornaments. And they're soft. And I got these off of Amazon. So last year I did a Christmas buffet. I didn't get around doing a blog post, but I did a video on my Christmas morning. And you can um, see our buffet that we had. And I did a gingerbread thing. And then these little pieces of greenery, they are from Michael's. And y'all, Michael's stuff was really picked over this year. Not picked over, but gone. Just gone. All the greenery and stuff already gone. So, I hope you guys grab your florals that you wanted because it was very slim. I have seen these the past couple of years with the glitter in them. And I like them. It, don't, it doesn't shed too bad, but I like them. So, these little houses I got from Target one year. The little gingerbread houses. I think they're super cute. And then I just put an extra little tin from the Dollar Tree that I got a couple of years ago. 
maybe to put some goodies on and maybe set them right here. Usually I have like a cape hanging or a plate out. And what I did was I just put it over here. I have to find my dome. Put it over here this year. And um, and then Josiah's going to have his little village over here. So, okay. So, I'm going to put this back here. Uh-oh. And then I have these little risers that I found at the Bullseye Playground this year. I believe, I don't remember what season it was, but it was recently. And it was like sitting in an odd place. It was like in the health and beauty section. And so I pulled, I was going to spray paint these, but it works great with the gingerbread theme. And I'm going to leave it just like, you know, I just used it for some height and some elevation, some interest. And then I put my little gingerbread sign here. A lot of people one year, they were painting the green, but I think the green goes good with everything here. This came from the Bullseye Playground as well. So I have some plates. I got these um, several years ago. I think I actually ordered them because I wanted the ones with the little trucks on them from the Dollar Tree. So when you order from the Dollar Tree, usually sometimes the quantities, it depends on what it is, 6, 12, 24. I believe this is a quantity of 24 and then it was an assortment of other plates. So I pulled out or I grouped together all my gingerbread ones to use over here. And then, I'm sorry, I didn't say up here, I have this hot cocoa North Pole warm up here sign that I got from Michael's last year, I believe. So my tear stand, I got this from Kirkland's, I believe y'all, I believe. So I will put the video of last year's and I'm sure I said the right place. So it's either Hobby Lobby or Kirkland's, but I believe it was Kirkland's because I believe it was like $29. Kirkland's is high, y'all. Now, and that's my favorite home decor store, but Kirkland's is, it's a lot higher than it used to be. So the only new things that I purchased was these little tins. So mom and I went to Dollar Tree the other day and these were the last two and i did see this when i went the other days before that but i was like you know what that'd be perfect for my cocoa bar i don't have anything in it but if we get any goodies you can put actually i need some marshmallows so the marshmallows will be perfect to put in one of these i'm trying to think did i put something no i didn't so our cocoa was in here and it's still in the packets so i have our cocoa in there and then i have the k cup cocoa um ones as well don't have anything in here and it's not anything in here i can put some cookies in this little cookie jar i guess it's a cookie jar or candy dish a cookie jar and i'm trying to think where i got this from walmart last year okay y'all so i have some cinnamon sticks in there i probably need to switch them out because they've been in there for quite a while um let's see what else we have back here you have some of these chocolate spoons. I'm not taking them out of the wrapping because last year I did. And I can't remember. I think it was in my Santa Claus. I have a cookie jar like this in the Santa Claus. And it molded. I took it out and put it in a plastic bag and it molded. And I think that's because of the heat vent that's right above the patio door right here. Then back here, I have another container in it. I actually got it from that from Aldi. Let's see, I'll turn it around. And it says tea on it. So just so it can look cohesive, I just turn it around. And that's just some tea, different teas that we have in the house in there. Someone wants to make tea. And then I put like this little greenery. I just stuff it down in there. And then up here, I have a gingerbread man that I got from Amazon because I wanted to do the gingerbread thing last year on the buffet bar at the last minute. So I got this um, milk bottle from Walmart um, last year and it says milk for Santa, but I turned it around. Uh oh, don't fall. I turned it around so, you know, it'd be clean line like I did everything else. <laughs> so you won't see all the wording on it. And then um, I know I have another small Christmas tree, but I just haven't put my hands on it yet. And I'll probably put that in the back. I can't find it right now. Yeah, I believe I have um, several little Christmas trees, miniature ones, but I can't put my hands on it right now, y'all. It's probably in the attic. And I don't even know 
if I'm going to even fuss about what's in the attic. Um, I think it's mainly ornaments, but I can't remember. And if I can't remember what I got, sometimes I will remember like, oh, where is this? Where is this? And if I can't remember, then I definitely need to go through it and I need to get rid of it. But sometimes I'm looking for one thing and I'm like, where's my Christmas tree? Now I think about it. It's a bullseye playground Christmas tree with the wood base, a miniature one. So, and I think I have several others. So they must be all grouped together upstairs. But anyway, y'all, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Are you going to create a cocoa bar this year? This okay, hopeful. So I don't quite remember what it looked like originally, but I did make some updates and it's a little shadowy over here because it's nighttime because the blinds are closed. But I did some updates over here. I added some stuff and some stuff I had to pull out. From my um had to pull out so we have some cake so i need to find my cake dome sometimes i put stuff up <laughs> i'm trying to figure out where did i put it up so i have my cake dome i don't know if i show this part or not i think i did and they need to eat that cake on they left the banana nut and then i pull this out this was it's just a core I got this last year and a classmate, Gina, um, she made these and I purchased it from her. And so I found that and I have it on my mug right here. Remember when they had these at the Dollar Tree? And usually I turn it around because it's like a solid mug with no decor or anything. So then go back over here and I went to Target and I bought some marshmallow huggers. And so I have this sleigh here and I kinda, I know that it kinda obstructs everything and I probably just need to take it off <laughs> like that, but I don't wanna move it. I don't wanna move it. So I put some candy canes in here that I got from Target and these marshmallow mug hold huggers. I should have got a few more. The boys love marshmallows, but I don't know. I don't know with cocoa if they will really like it. Then I also added this iced coffee maker and I've been looking up some recipes on Pinterest on how to, you know, make your own iced coffee at the house. I think you can buy the ice, the cold coffee too, but I was going to make my own. And then I purchased yesterday from Walmart, the delivery, some half and half. Um, that's in a lot of recipes and for the cold coffee so or iced coffee, I'm sorry. So I got these instead of the cold kind because we don't drink coffee. Well, actually, we go through it kind of fast now. So just in case, if it takes us longer, it won't go bad in the fridge to say all that. So we have our stuff. It's not super neat because I'm running out of space in here. But we have some cocoa coffee. I think I already showed that. Then I put some Reese cups, some candy, some extra candy. That I thought Jason ate all these, but he loves he loves these. I got these last year from Aldi, which I'll show in a haul. Uh oh. And I don't know if I had my plates here or not, y'all. I had to find them, and I just put this little extra spoon that goes in like this canister set that I have. And then I put the extra waffle. I can't remember what they're called, y'all. These little waffle things with caramel in them. And these are the new ones that I got this year. So I have to remember that they are in there. Because <laughs> the men in my house will not look for stuff. Then I put some more candy in here. Some Hershey Kisses. And I put my little salted caramel cocoa spoon in there. And my son of my granary failed, yeah. And I put some candy here. Oh, back here. That's what I wanted to show. So, of course, I'm running out of space. And it's still in the packaging inside, if you can see the plastic. And these are also like some cookie mug holders as well that I got from Aldi today. So, this fit perfectly down in here. 
and I wish I had a see-through one, but I just have to remember that those little struple waffles, I think that's what they're called, are down in there. So those are the only updates that I did over here. I was thinking about putting maybe a riser on one of these, but I'll just leave it just like that. Also, what I added was, I think in the video, I just had the bottle up there like that, and I just added my little arrangement that I use quite often. I actually, I think got this from Dollar Tree and I used it in a swag DIY that I did on the table and I just took it apart and just bunched it together with some floral wire and put it in that milk bottle at the top. So I had to dig that out of a bin. <laughs> so that's why I wasn't in the last video. So that's it, y'all. Thanks for watching.